I don't do a lot of traveling, but I do enough to know it can be a pain. Whether you travel by car or plane or some other way, keeping trip details at your fingertips can make things go so much smoother. I used to have paper plane tickets and paper maps and paper hotel reservations. It was a lot to keep track of. I don't fool with that mess anymore. I do it all on my iPhone and I do it with widgets. Stick around and I'll show you how this process keeps me on track and on time. Hi, my name is Rich. I make easy to follow videos on what I hope are useful topics. And I do my best to keep things simple and straightforward. If that type of video sounds like something that might be of value to you, please consider subscribing. And thanks so much to all of you who have subscribed. Today's tutorial is one of those tips videos that if you do any traveling at all, will help you out and buy a lot. If you've got a few minutes, then invest it here and watch this thing. The time you spend doing that, you're gonna recoup in spades. I guarantee it. Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I add the following widgets to my home screen and then place them in a stack so they're very easy to get to. A notes widget linked to a note that contains all my travel details, a weather widget for my destination, you know, so you know how to pack, a shortcut widget to open the wallet app to quickly get to my plane ticket so you know you can check in at the airport, a shortcut to the Uber app so I can quickly get transportation at the airport once I arrive, and then a shortcut to the Maps app with directions to my local airport. Now, you may not need that, but there's just so much construction going on around my local airport that there's always a different way to arrive, so I put that on there just to make things easy. And by the way, when my trip is over, I just delete the widgets and I'm back to my nice clean home screen. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is a notes widget. I created a note and I sort of make a note template out of it in the notes app. And I put literally all of my travel details on that note, my flight information, my uh, hotel reservation information, and any other notes about the trip itself is all contained within that note. And that note looks like this. Here is an example of the travel note template. And I copy this every time I make a new trip. So I've created uh, a note to a trip to Nashville I just made. And so it's here. It's got my flight details. It's got the hotel accommodations, phone numbers, addresses, and things like that, and some travel notes. So what I'm going to do is create a widget for that, and I'm going to do that by pressing on the home screen, hitting the plus, and I'm going to go to notes, and I'm going to click on a note. I'm going to find that one, and I'm going to click add widget. And then I'm going to press and I'm going to edit the widget to find the note that I'm looking for. And I'll just search for it. I'll type in Nashville. Here we go. And now I've got my trip details right there. And I can tap on it and open that note quickly. And that's the first widget that I always add to my home screen. The next widget I add is the weather widget. So I'm going to tap and hold again. I'll hit the plus. And I'll go down to weather. And I'll add the widget, same size. And I'll tap. And then I'm going to edit it because I don't want to go to Raleigh. I want to edit the widget. I want to put my location. And I'm going to search for Nashville. Now I've got the weather for Nashville. And now I'm going to take that widget and I'm going to drag it on top of the other widget. And now I've got two of my widgets and you can just scroll through them. So now I'm going to make a shortcut to open the Wallet app. If you fly, you can get your tickets to come in to the Wallet app on your iPhone and it's easy to just open them up and then have them scanned at the airport as opposed to a paper ticket. And this is how I do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open the Shortcuts app. And I'm gonna hit the plus to add a new shortcut. 
and it's going to be an open app and the app is going to be the wallet and now and I'm going to rename that to wallet I'll click done and I'll click done and now I'm going to go back I'm going to add that widget I'll go down to shortcuts like we did before and I'll add the wallet widget and so now the wallet widget is there when I tap it it opens up my wallet widget so if I had airplane tickets they would be located right here and I could tap on them and go again I'm going to just drag that on top of the other and one of the things widget stacks does that I don't like is it adds other things to your widget stack that they think might be helpful for you to get rid of that you can just tap and hold and you can click edit stack and turn off smart rotate and widget suggestions and now you've got the note the weather and the wallet app and now I'm going to add uh, a shortcut to open the uber app so again we'll go to shortcuts we'll tap on plus we're going to click on open app and the app will be uber which of course you already have to have on your phone and that's it and now I'm going to rename it so that I know what it is uber done now go back and tap and hold go down to shortcuts again like we did before and I'll add uber and now I'll just drag that right on top of the other and now I have the uber app the wallet app the weather and my note and now there's one last widget that I add and that's directions to my airport you may need this maybe you don't but I'll show you how I do it we'll open the shortcuts app again and I'm going to tap on the plus to create a new one except this time I'm going to click on add action not open app and I'm going to go to apps and I'm going to go to maps and I'm going to go to open directions and get driving directions from your current location to and I'm going to type in here RDU International Airport and I'm done and now I'm going to rename that to RDU which stands for Raleigh Durham I'll click done and done and once again I'll go back and tap and hold and I'll add this one more widget go back down to shortcuts and there's RDU and I add that and I drag it on top so now all of my widgets are there and I go hop in my automobile getting ready to head to the airport I just tap on that and I get directions on how to get there and you can already see there's two or three different ways once I'm at the airport I can tap on my wallet app and pull up my airplane ticket and get in quickly once I arrive at my location, in this case it was Nashville, and I'm at the airport and I need a ride to the hotel, I can tap on the Uber app and open that up and just type in where I want to go to. And then I've got my note here with all of my travel details and meetings and accommodations, where I'm staying, and all of that kind of stuff in the note. And it's all sitting in one neat little stack of widgets on my iPhone. I think that's pretty cool. I hope this short video helps you the next time you find yourself planning a trip either by plane, train, or automobile. And you can always adapt the widgets to suit just what your trip requires. I've used this process recently and it just flat out makes travel so much easier. Well, that's it for today's short tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.